Hi, my name is Stephen McGee and I authored Toxic Health. Now I'm here today to look into the human AC body voltage. And uh, it's quite interesting, we're in my house and my home I discovered a few months ago when I was researching toxic health uh, has an AC voltage on its flooring. I have the oscilloscope set up and it's grounded to a non-electrified grounding probe in my garden. And I'm going to connect in through the tip of my finger into the oscilloscope. And we can see that right now there's just general noise on my body and we're set at 50 millivolts per division in the vertical direction. Now this waveform you're going to notice a significant change when I uninsulate my body by touching my foot to the floor, which I'm now going to do. So that is a 60 hertz waveform. And it was put onto my body simply by putting my foot on the floor. And you see with pressure, I can actually get the waveform to increase. So I've just lifted up my foot slightly off the floor to reduce the pressure and it's definitely pressure related so if I'm walking around my house barefoot it puts a large voltage onto my body and this is a concern because it's a probable health issue and it probably exists in the majority of homes that have concrete floors and electricity. And uh, there's nothing special about my floor, it's just a standard tile floor. We're probably about 20 to 30 feet away from my electrical ground rods. And this is a voltage gradient that runs from my grounding rods right through the garden and through the house. And I've reported this to the power company and uh, they they basically told me that they're not going to do anything about it, which uh, is not the right answer, and that's why I'm doing more research on on this subject to document it further. And uh, as you can see, uh, it's surprising what your tile floor can do to your body voltage. So that's not natural, and you should expect that if you've got that waveform on your body, that long term you're going to get pretty darn sick. And it's very well documented in the dairy industry in the fact that it's called stray voltage. And the dairy industry noticed decades ago that the cows in the milking parlors that are hooked into the electrical milking machines get very sick. And they traced it to this effect. And the dairy industry has put limits on the voltage that the cows can be subjected to. And that voltage is half a volt AC. And in my home, the, the voltage actually peaks at one and a half volts AC. So it's actually three times the allowable contact voltage that exists in my home. And as I say, it's, uh, it's throughout the house and uh, it extends out, it peaks at the ground rods and then tails off the further away you get from the ground rods. And uh, it's something I'm trying to characterize. Uh, if you want to find out more about this effect, it's actually very well documented in the book, Toxic Health. And in Toxic Health also tells you how to measure it and the correct way to measure for it. So if you want to run this experiment at your own home, uh, I would recommend that you do so because uh, it's good to know whether your flooring is electrified with AC electricity and whether your grounding system on your home is electrified with AC electricity because once you know it's there you can avoid it and uh, you should see your health significantly improve once you've actually eliminated this problem by using insulated shoes and just by not coming into contact with it. So there you have it. That's what stray voltage looks like in a typical American home. I hope you enjoyed this presentation and I wish you the very best. Thank you.